Okay, so that hasn't taken long at all, has it, Jace? No, about two minutes. You've nicked that first goal off me. Like, what's going on with that, mate? Uh, I don't know. It's just our first time luck, I reckon. So, so as you can see, guys, Jace has got the keeping the load up just to make sure that the squid doesn't get um, doesn't release the the jig. So keep winding him in, Jace. Keep the load up. Keep the load. Make sure that tip's got plenty of load on it. Keep going. We should start to see him, and here he comes. He's on the surface there. Keep going. So here he comes. And there you go, Mr. Johannesburg. That didn't take you long at all, did it? Just well coached, I reckon. Hey? Eh? Well coached. They, they say that you pick things up quickly, <laughs> and you did. So there we go, guys. We're off to a really, really good start. JJ with his first calamari. And it hasn't taken you long again, JJ, and you've done it to me. So what's going on here? Uh, just, just catching the baby ones, so hopefully you'll get the big ones. Yeah. Too. Well, where there's little ones, there's big ones. So let's keep the load up, keep the load up. Beautiful. Come over this side, let me in that corner. Again, that's a little one. Just walk back a bit, Jace. There you go, JJ. That's a little one, but there's no size limit. Yep. So they're all keepers. That's actually a really, really good bait, that one. If we were going big predator fishing, yep. we'd be absolutely laughing at the moment. But he'll make a few calamari rings, so let's keep going. Yep, hopefully three for three. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. JJ has uh, has done to me what most of my guests do to me, and that's take all the uh, all the glory. But hey, I finally got onto one myself, so that's good because they all count. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got the load staying on the um, on the tip of the rod. That's a mistake that a lot of people do. They try and fight a calamari the same way they would fight a fish, which you don't do. Another one. Another perfect little bait size calamari. But this guy's going to end up as calamari rings. This really is a good spot, you know. It's, um, it's really a, a spot where we always seem to get a fair few of them. And here we go again. It seems that, like this pink colour is the one that's working. They're not all, this one's a, a little bit bigger, probably about the size of the first one, but they all taste the same. And there he is. Another nice little calamari. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Eating great baits, I have to tell you. Jay's come into the picture, mate. This style of fishing has to be one of my favourite styles of fishing because it's finesse. Yep. And someone like you, a true athlete, you guys seem to pick this stuff up really good. But you know the best part of it, Jace? Eating it. Oh, they <laughs> eat amazing, mate. Jace, you're in the middle of pre-season. We were having a, an interesting conversation there before. We were talking about you get a day off on Wednesdays, yeah? Yep. Mate, what's... And you say, you say that a day off through season is easier than a day off through off-season. Why is that, mate? Yeah, because uh, during pre-season, it's all about conditioning our bodies, trying to get really fit for the season. So we have three main sessions of, of just purely condition, condition running and then uh, three days, which is a bit off legs and um, upper body conditioning like boxing, etc. So, But during the season, it's all about, you know, you focus on playing the game and the rest of the week is sort of about recovery. So in season, it's a lot more um, relaxed during the week, but obviously on the game day, it's, uh, it's intense. That's interesting. So what you're saying is when I take you out to chase big fish we got to do we got to do it during the season not off season oh i um i don't mind um you know i've, I've this is my eighth pre-season now so the body's sort of getting used to it so um uh, no during the pre-season obviously it's summertime so I, I prefer to be out in the boat in the sun fantastic well i have to say guys fantastic getting out here with an athlete because they do it so well they pick things up so quickly so come on jace i've caught you now two all yep. let's keep going let's go. you've got to beat me <laughs> keep bringing him up he's a little bit better this guy than than uh what you've what we, we've caught so far so walk him around the side 
tucked him around the side here, Jace. Problem with these rod holders, mate. Now walk backwards, Jace. Yep. And he got me. There you go, Jace. Another one. We are in for a good feed, JJ. So what's that? Three two. Three two. So what's the what's the bet? Loser does what? Washes the boat. Yeah, that's a fair deal. Hey? I reckon. But washes the boat and cooks. And cooks. <laughs> well, looks like I'm up for a, a boat wash and uh, and a cook. So, well done, mate. Well done. You enjoying yourself? No, nah, it's very good. Uh, very nice weather out here. I'm looking forward to a good feed as well. Yeah, awesome. Can't wait to cook them up. So he's on again. JJ, now that's not fair because that puts you two up on me. So I reckon I don't mind cooking. It's there's, the boat there's, washing. There's a couple behind it. So there's a little cast in there behind him, in the hope that I can jag one as well. So maybe that'll pull me in one behind it. But he's inking up this guy. So just keep bringing him in. Keep bringing him in, and I'll follow you does sometimes happen but and my jig's actually right behind Jason's there but if it was gonna happen it would off but it doesn't look like it's going to so you just keep winding Jace come around the yep. side oh that's a good one Jace this is the best one we've caught so far or you've caught <laughs> oh he got me got me a beauty now, guys, how's that? <laughs> On the way out, I was kidding with Jace, and I said, Jace, do you have a change of clothes? Because these guys will absolutely do this to you. Now, that's the problem with these snapper racks. I couldn't get in the water deep enough to keep him in the water, and it upset him. Now, Jace, get over here and have a look at this cracker, mate. That's, that's what you call a calamari. Yeah, they sell them at Woolworths for sure. Hey. Jace, that makes it 4 2. Yeah. That's not good. You better pick up your game. I better pick up my game, mate, otherwise, drop to the VFL for next week, right? <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so now it's my turn. What's that going to make it, JJ? 4 3. 4 3, but who's counting, right? <laughs> let's, let's see if he inks me this time. He feels like a better one, too. It's a little bit more weight there, which. It could make sense because the weather's calmed down a bit and what's happening is our jigs are getting in lower. So I reckon the bigger boys, they're actually having a little bit more of a crack at it. So let's see, we're passing over some really, really lovely ground here as well. And there's another one. Another nice one, mate. So what's that? 4-3 now. 4-3. I dropped JJ's last one on purpose, right? Don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm on again now. Oh, and this feels like a good one. I felt him hitting it. So I've played with it and played with it, and he's absolutely nailed this thing. And he's a good size calamari, this one too. And there he is. There's another good size one, JJ. Nice, nice one. Yeah. So, well, we're about level now. Uh, no, nah. 4.1. And JJ, if I look at JJ, JJ's gonna crumb on me now. He's waiting to see it. He's learnt the tactics, right? So he's waiting to see it surface like a good fisherman. I told you these guys, they pick it up straight away. He's waiting to see it on the surface and here he comes. He's on the surface now and he casts behind me because we're passing over some really good ground. Now, you know why JJ's done that? Because I'll be leading <laughs> if I get this on the boat, right? If I get this on the boat. Here we go. He's coming up. Oh, and let's get him up nice and close. Keep the rod tip in the water. JJ. Yep, I was a bit bit cocky early on and now uh, I'm taking the lead so I'm going to have to get back out there. And get, get stuck into me. There we go.